The work of the Global Cyber Centre is going to be really important to the Oxford Martin School for a number of reasons. First, it's our mandate. We work on the biggest challenges facing the world and try and bring the best academics together, uh, together with policy makers, business people, government, to think through these challenges and to make a real difference. So we want to be a bridge between leading edge scholars and the practical applications. Cyber clearly is one of the biggest issues and the threats to the cyber system are one of the biggest issues facing us in the 21st century. Cyber has become the nervous system of the global economy, society, culture, uh, and it's vital that it's strengthened and is resilient. It's very difficult to imagine a world without cyber now uh, and the collapse of this trusted network that transcends national borders. But it is a threat. Uh, there's a real danger. Uh, that we will not be able to have these open networks, uh, that they will, for various reasons, uh, be pushed back and will go backwards in time in many respects. The Oxford Martin School is all about bringing teams together of interdisciplinary people to work on tough challenges. So it very much fits within not only our mandate, but our operating model uh, in terms of how we work. We work by building interdisciplinary teams, and this is a perfect example. I've become convinced personally uh, that this is an area where there has been an absolute failure uh, to advance fast enough in the regulatory governance, ethics uh, and legal space compared to the developments that are happening in the real world in people's connectivity and the system's development. So the system is advancing in leaps and bounds uh, beyond society's capability to understand it, let alone manage it. So it seems to me to be an area which desperately is in need of greater thinking, the development of frameworks, the development of legal structures, uh, the development of ethical structures, big considerations like privacy obviously are part of this, but so too are jurisdictional uh, questions. Like in some other areas we deal with, uh, national borders are not particularly meaningful. And so my view is that the frameworks are not in place, uh, the legal structures, the ethical structures, uh, the global governance structures, the institutional structures are not in place. Uh, and my hope is also that that will be something that this new centre can contribute. Across the Oxford Martin School, we look at many uh, global threats. Um, we look at issues of causes of the financial crisis, for example. We're looking at pandemics. We're looking at climate change, we're looking at oceans and their stability uh, and depletion of fisheries, for example, uh, and we're looking at migration. We have a big group, over 25 people, working on migration issues. And these are examples of flows across borders, clearly very different to cyber flows, uh, which bear no relationship to the sorts of institutional structures that currently govern them. So we've been thinking very deeply about the fitness and how one would evolve global governance to meet these 21st century type challenges and what the lessons might be, for example, for cyber. So I think there definitely are lessons. Uh, the important questions as to how one builds global constituencies. Um, there are now over 202 countries in the world. Can one imagine agreements of 202 countries? Is that necessary to affect an outcome? What do we think about coalitions of the working and how do you make sure that they're legitimate uh, rather than illegitimate? How do you then develop a capability around them? How do you allow regulators stay, to stay on top of technologies uh, which are growing exponentially and changing all the time? How do you bring into government and into civil servants, into businesses, the latest uh, and stay ahead of the curve? Should you stop technological progress because you don't understand it? Uh, these are all questions which we are dealing with in the case of finance with credit derivatives in the case of pandemics, in the case uh, uh, of DNA synthesizing and the potential to create new pathogens, deadly pathogens, uh, in climate change, in terms of the need for people to all use more fossil fuel when we know it's going to destroy the planet. So these are questions which are not, in some respects, unique to cyberspace. Um, and I think uh, there's certainly a lot of crossovers, and I hope they will be flowing the other way. What is it that can we learn from the management of cyberspace, which is a very uh, non-governmental structure at the moment, largely, uh, which may be applicable to some of the other areas.